flying whisper on 7 megahertz using the summer loop. It's not very big, it won't be efficient, probably well under 1%, but I may well still be able to get spots received. You've seen the summer loop before, a pedestrian mobile magnetic loop good for 15 through to 6 metres. I tried it on 20 metres after I first built it, but I was using SSB and results were not all that great. What about Whisper? That's more forgiving if you're using bad antennas. I've made no changes to the loop except to temporarily connect a compression trimmer across it. That will bring its resonant frequency down. I expect as low as 7 and possibly 3.5 megahertz. I'll use a screwdriver to adjust the compression trimmer to the right band and the beehive trimmer to make fine adjustments. It's just after 6pm local, which should be good for whisper tests on 40, 30 and possibly other bands. Not quite one to one, but near enough. As a receiving antenna, the small loop works really well. Uh, it's John Banks, VK4JWC, okay, VK2OL in the group. I need to get a computer system happening one of these days near uh, Gary. It's been a successful evening. On 40 metres, there are spots from Eastern Australia. On 30 metres, even a bit of DX. I was running either 1 or 5 watts. Because this antenna is so inefficient, I suspect results with milliwatts wouldn't be so good. And don't forget, the next Melbourne QRP by the Bay will be in two days, Saturday, November 3, right here at Victory Park, Chelsea. Starting time is 3pm. Bring an interesting bit of gear and some equipment and meet other homebrew QRPers.